Hi friends, host Eric here from Olathe, Kansas. Yes, Olathe, Kansas. On my route home from St. Louis to Los Angeles, my car is broken down again. What an exciting, exciting development. This time, I think the whole front axle is broken. I think that what happened is the damage the cops did finally finished being working its way through. Hi, Unify. Uh, yeah, I am stuck here in Olathe, but I got a rental car because I broke down on uh, one exit further east from here and or north, one of the two. And I broke down next to it's a good place to break down. There was a car repair place just off the exit. There was an Enterprise rent a car just off the exit, and there was a roadway in. But I wasn't anticipating using the rental car place until I went and looked at the roadway in, and I was just like, I am not staying in that fucking lice infested hellhole. That place looked really fucking seedy. So I just rented a car for one day, uh, just so I, basically so I could go another exit down the freeway and uh, get into this Best Western, which is really nice. And, I, you know, it's, it's it would probably be like $40 more a night for this Best Western. I would guess that roadway must have been like a $50 hotel a night, probably. This one's like 97 or something. Um, it's a very fair price for a nice hotel room. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here in Olathe rather than one, one exit that way, which would have been bad. Regardless. My point is that I am once again stuck here, and I don't know exactly how the rest of the trip is going to play out. I may or may not end up driving home in my own car. I may end up having to scrap that fucking thing. I don't have the pink slip with me, obviously. I don't think I do, anyway. And I don't know why I would. So, I don't know how that would work. But I believe Avis rents one-way rental cars without... A massive one-way rental car fee. Yeah, the one I th that was the worst deal of my of the whole trip across the board was Detroit. Not the worst visit of the whole trip at all. I really enjoyed visiting with you, Unify. It was just, but it was a lesson for me to be learned there that that kind of of showy opulence for the sake of it is a complete waste of fucking money, and I want nothing to do with it ever ever, ever again. I am done with casinos. I didn't gamble at all in the Detroit casino, not even one penny. And when a woman walks up to me and she's like, hey, can I bump a cigarette from you? And I'm like, yeah, here's two. And she's like, I died on my last 20. I got I to gotta use this to get my money back. And I was just like, oh, my God, that's so depressing. And, you know, I just walked back up to my room, got my bags, got to my car. And drove away from Detroit saying, I'm never going to stay in a casino again, I don't think. I mean, Vegas casinos aren't so overpressed in the rooms, necessarily. But there's an air of desperate desperate sorrow or something about the place. There's an air of addiction about the whole thing. That is an ugly kind of addiction. I mean, some, some addictions are a lot uglier than others. You know, smoking cigarettes is maybe not the healthiest thing in the world, but... It doesn't feel like a particularly ugly addiction to me. It doesn't tear up my life or anything, you know? It makes me go outside more frequently than I'd like to, perhaps. Especially in a context like this, where I can't smoke in the hotel. But that's something I can live with. That's not too much of an imposition upon my well-being. A gambling addiction, exactly. Gambling can destroy families, and... You know, that makes me kind of sad, and... Like a lot of sad things in life, rather than try to make them better, I'd rather ignore them and not think about them. <laughs> because otherwise it's just like a bunch of bad feelings for no good reason. Regardless, that's not the point of this, this video. This video is an update from Olathe, Kansas about the progress of host Eric slash coach Eric, who is supposed to be back for work today, but thanks to multiple delays, obviously will not be. Um, yeah, shit happens. That's okay. I'm not too stressed out about it. You know, 
I've been really chill all day. I've been really not stressed all day, not uncomfortable all day. I've been taking my time. I visited this cool little historic town called Blackwater, and I got some good videos. And I mean, this video right now is an update. I am excited to see something be published from yesterday's uh, Anxiety Depression Fest. Hi, Elsie. Thank you for being here and for saying hi to me. Um, Ken hasn't put anything up yet, and I have this sneaking suspicion that somehow he fucked up the recording of it. And so he's got nothing. <laughs> <coughs> and he's, he's embarrassed right now because I actually went in there to confirm that he was recording it. But, I mean, I know he shouldn't be. If that's the case, that's happened to me plenty of times. I've failed to record shit that was very much desire, desirous to record. So, uh, what day will I be back? Well, if I, if I end up fixing this car of mine, then I would say I would be back on Tuesday. If I don't end up fixing a car of mine, well, I'll see. I'd rather not get arrested again before I come back, if possible. It's not necessarily uh, easy to determine if I'm going to get arrested again, but hopefully not. If I do have to scrap my car and I drive it back in a rental car, then I suspect I'd be a lot less likely to get arrested because my tags on my car are expired. So that's why I get pulled over in the first place, probably. And then why would they arrest me at that point? I don't know. I don't think there's really anything else for him to arrest me for, but, um, you know, cops, they'll come up with something. Anyway, <coughs> the adventure continues, but this is my message to myself and everybody else. I bought it on one of these dorky little signs. we got two messages. Number one, growth means embracing that which you used to make fun of. <laughs> That's rule number one, it's such as little signs like this. And number two, this, what it says. We all do the things we're capable of to extend ourselves. I like that sign. I got it from my ex-wife as a present for helping go out take care of the animals and stuff. And uh, I think she'll like it. She likes these little signs. I think this is a good one. And it's it's warm and then it expresses to her that I I value the fact that she's utilizing her increased autonomy in interesting ways as well. She's currently on a, a trip with four girlfriends to Seattle. And I saw her Facebook pictures and stuff like that. Good for her. You know, good job, Ken. And good for me too, and whatever. Good for everybody I visited too. This is great. I love that sign. It's right on the money. Oh, I got a phone call. I'm going to end this video right now. Thanks for watching.